Restoration work is almost complete on the exterior of the Cherokee National Capital in Tahlequah. Through the years, the sturdy brick building has endured fires, floods, and shoddy repairs. With the Cherokee National holiday coming up Labor Day weekend, workers are racing to erase the ravages of time, so the Capitol will look just as it did when it was built 150 years ago. The Trail of Tears brought the Cherokee tribe to Indian Territory in the 1830s. As the years went by, they built homes, farms, and businesses. The nation also created a government composed of executive, legislative, and judicial branches. To house its government, the tribe wanted a special building. So they, they built the Capitol building uh, on the Capitol Square in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, and all three branches of government set up shop there to rebuild the Cherokee Nation. Principal Chief Bill John Baker says the Cherokee Capitol was constructed in 1867. Photos loaned to us by the State Historical Society and Northeastern State University, as well as those hanging in the Capitol's lobby, give a glimpse into its history. The Capitol was built with local stone and bricks fired at the site. Over the decades, it withstood fires, flooded basements, and changes in ownership. At statehood, all of our public buildings became state buildings, and that became the Cherokee County Courthouse. That building served as a Cherokee County um, court building for quite some time, and was Cherokee Nation reacquired that building in the late 1970s. We've used it for ceremonial purposes and as a working courthouse for our Supreme Court. The building no longer houses the tribe's government, but it's still known as the historic Cherokee Capitol. This summer, work on a total restoration of the building got underway. Phase one, the exterior. A drainage system now protects the basement rooms from flooding. Cubicles built into the wall in one basement room likely once held land records. Precious tribal records were kept behind an ornately decorated heavy iron door. Writing on its face indicates it was made in Muskogee. The faded lintel above reads clerk of the district court. This summer, workers refurbished or replaced parts of the building lost to fire or cheap repairs during the time it was operated by the county. In 1928, there was a fire, and by the time the county started the restorations, the depression hit, and they did minimal. They, you know, they couldn't put the, the cupola back up on top. Uh, they put big panes of glass in all the windows instead of the individual panes. Uh, they just did it cheaper than, than, than our ancestors did it originally. These photos by the Works Progress Administration were taken shortly before the fire that destroyed the cupola. The cupola not only was decorative, but served as an air ventilation structure. The cupola is now back in the center of the building's new roof, and this week, the last of the restored multi-pane windows are going in. A 1900s-era color postcard distributed by the Cherokee Drug Company shows the building's original color scheme has also been replicated. As for when phase two, the interior restoration will take place, Chief Baker says it could be a while. The interior, uh, we want to uh, uh, completely go through and, and, and most likely turn it into a museum where Cherokees and non-Cherokees alike can, uh, can visit it, can see what it was in, it, in its glory days. But right now it's a working courthouse. And until we can uh, relocate the Supreme Court to a, uh, a more modern facility, then we, we're going to have to wait a, a little bit on doing the interior. Baker says people can get an idea of what the fully refurbished Capitol will look like inside and out by visiting two other landmark early Cherokee facilities that are already restored. The nation's original Supreme Court building just across the square from the Capitol or the newly renovated Cherokee National Prison down the street.